Hi guys, um, sorry it's been a while since I last did a video. Um, some of you will know that I've had a um, medical procedure around about, what, nearly two weeks ago now. And um, that's why I've been off air for a bit. Um, also, um, I just wanted to do this um, video just to mention a couple of people unfortunately the first bit of news is very uh, was very um, sudden which I found out about yesterday and um, it's concerning a former YouTube modeler who's been out of the community for a while and the unfortunate thing was he was suffering with cancer and um, the cancer sadly to say has got the better of him and um, it was actually uh, young Ben Cross. I don't know if you remember Ben. Um, he was getting his channel up and running around about six years ago. Very, very talented modeler. Um, and some of his work actually inspired me to uh, do, get more aircraft into my stash because I remember one particular build of Ben's, uh, which was the 132nd Heinkel from Ravel, which had then just been initially been released, and he did a soup job of it in fact I think some of his videos are still on YouTube at the moment so if you go across look out Ben Cross you'll be able to see some of the work that he actually took out uh, in fact as my little tribute to him I actually put up one of his updates uh, which was on my Facebook page um, and uh, I just want to say that uh, the reason I found out was that his wife, Samantha, posted up the very sad news that uh, unfortunately Ben passed away the other night, um, which was very saddening. And because uh, the last time I saw he was in recovery and obviously and sadly the cancer got the better of him. Um, so, yeah, it was well, let's just say it was it, 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 it shocked me. Um, because I thought, good on him, he's getting through this, he's very young, he's very strong, but unfortunately cancer doesn't discriminate, and um, yeah, poor, poor devil, unfortunately it got the better of him. Um, I had previously spoken to Ben uh, when he was having his YouTube up and running, uh, around about six years ago, and uh, I was just initially into the second year of my channel, I think, and uh, he caught my eye um, when I was just scrolling through and I thought well, this guy's got some talent so basically I decided to basically subscribe to his channel and in some respects I learned some very good tips off him um, so yeah and we you know I obviously put my appreciation in his comments and he was very humbled and uh, I know a lot of the people in the community got to know him, including my friend Mike Cohen and some of the guys at the Pricks of Plastics, etc. As well as the guys at ISM. And um, I know that I've spoke to a few few people and uh, well, they're all weak, equally as shocked as I am and saddened by the fact that Ben's no longer going to be here. So... Samantha, if you're watching, my love, we all send our sincere condolences. Me, heartfelt, because obviously I've spoken to Ben in the past. And uh, I'll just say that I think he's going to be sorely missed in the modelling community. Um, brilliant modeler, very talented. Um, and he'll be much missed. I know that much. So I, for one, send my love and uh, all my good wishes to you and your family and just to let you know that I'm thinking of you at this very difficult time. Also on a second count, I um, had a little bit of a shot with another fellow modeler of ours and she's a very talented modeler, uh, is uh, Dana Moss. Um, she was out riding the other day and ended up having a heart attack. Um, Safe to say she's in the hospital now being uh, monitored and um, so far so good. And um, obviously Dana if you're watching my love, I send my love and my best wishes to you. And like I said, I've been in your situation what about eight years ago when I had an MI. So if you ever get worried or you need any advice, as I said, get in touch with me. Um, and it'd be great to chat to you, but obviously when you're filling up to it, um, you know, because at the moment it's early days, and um, you'll get through this. You'll get through this for sure. 
Um, sometimes it's just like a sort of bit of a kick in the kick up the backside when you have to start looking at your what your diet and everything. So they'll probably run through that with you. So do not worry, you're in safe hands. You really are. I know it's frightening. I was scared. But the best thing to do is just go with the flow, my love. All right, and you'll be fine. You will get through this. Um, and you know, just let you know. Send you a big hug and a kiss. Mwah. Hope you're feeling better soon, my lovely. And uh, yeah, as and when you're feeling up to it, get in touch with me. Um, just send me a PM and we'll have a little video chat if you want about all the modelling and everything in general. So there you go. Just get better soon, my love. Okay. Uh, in terms of myself, um, as some of you may know, I had a hernia procedure take repair done um, nearly two weeks ago now, and uh, the recovery's not been easy. The aftercare, well, that was something to be desired, and I ended up having to sort it out myself with my local surgery, who have been absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah, although I did have a little uh, setback the other day and I was referred to the local clinic for an examination uh, thankfully it was nothing serious um, it was just basically where one of the stitches hadn't been actually tied properly and it was actually curling in on itself and causing a little bit of an infection uh, but um, at the nursing having how bad my bruising was because obviously I don't know what the hell they did with my laparoscope but boy was I bruised and battered afterwards and I'm still a little bit t fairly tender so um, yeah and in case you guys are wondering yes I am taking it extremely easy at the moment so uh, there you go um, but uh, unfortunately it's extended my time off of work um, because obviously I can't really go back to work until I'm fully fit well near enough fully fit um, and with my job it means being on your feet all day which unfortunately at the moment I can't afford to do until I'm fully recovered so there you go anyway I don't want you to get the heart strings going but I'm just trying to put you in the picture as it were uh, but um, there you go uh, what else was I going to mention I'm sure there was something else I was going to mention oh yes if you've noticed I've put a few sort of random videos up of action at Heathrow Airport it's just basically for people who are interested in aviation and I've been, well, ever since the pandemic started, I've just basically came across Big Jet TV and Jerry Dwyer, and it's just reignited my enthusiasm for civil aviation. Hence why I've got so many ruddy models of jumbos and 787s and other civilian aircraft within my stash now that I've built up. So, yeah, it sort of reignited my... Um, love of civil aviation really so thank you Jerry if you're watching um, and uh, he's he's very well he's, it's, it's a passion it's his passion so if you're curious to see what his channel is like go on to Big Jet TV and um, you'll see for sure I mean I'm a member of his um, um, association um, which is only about 99p a month and that way you can actually get involved with the chat etc um, and uh, he does actually sometimes actually broadcast on YouTube as well um, and then obviously get other benefits such as the hotels he goes to they will give you a discount etc etc as you upgrade your membership so there you go and uh, the, him and Jilly work extremely hard to basically sort of bring across what they deliver, such as broadcast air bases. I mean, for instance, they did one on Virgin's last jumbo where they got a guided tour via the staff at Virgin through the hangar the night before it actually flew out for the last time. So check his channel out. All right, that's bigjettv.com. Okay. So I'll put a little bit of a shout out there for you, Jerry. Okay. Um, I think that's basically it, really, guys. Um, I've got, as I say, I've been getting a few bit more bits in. Um, as soon as I get the chance, I may well do a few more inbox reviews for you guys. Okay. And I might even get started on this little dude. So 
yeah, I'm sort of humming and ahhing about it at the moment, but I need to get into me figure painting, etc. So I might have a crack at that um, whilst I'm not doing full scale modelling at the moment. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it from me for now. So until the next time, as I always say, get kit crazy, happy modelling, stay safe, and uh, take care, guys. Okay? See you soon. Cheers. Bye.